What's going on guys? Today I decided to do something interesting which I got done successfully at which I did last night which is going to be temporary. Well, some of you have been asking for it a while back. I decided to do Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs running on the IBM ThinkPad T21. This is the IBM ThinkPad T21 which I got right here. And I got the camera on a little surface. And I even got a little wireless card. I'm going to show you how it's able to handle basic surfing on the internet. And the specifications of the machine is an Intel Pentium 3 at 800 MHz with 256 MB of RAM and a 40 gig IDE hard drive. And let's go ahead and fire this bad boy on. Yeah. This is my one of my attempts of t recording, so the last attempts I tried, I couldn't get certain things to cooperate right, so I finally got it to cooperate. So now it's it's based on Windows XP Professional and Windows XP Embedded. This is a good old. It's better than using XP, an inlighted version of XP. But if you, you could use an inlighted version of XP on this, I decided well, let's try Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs and see how it can handle on this computer. So let's go ahead and log on. And I um, removed the password once I um, installed it after I got done installing it so I don't have to deal with all that hassle. As you see, I um, disabled all of the visual effects. I um, disabled a couple, a lot of the, of the services, and I um, disabled indexing, so it could run a little bit smooth. There's nothing really on, nothing on here. While everything's loaded, let's see if I can pull up system properties. And I'm gonna show you what's all installed. Yeah. I tried to install Microsoft Office on it. It somehow decided it didn't it didn't want to cooperate with the computer, so I ain't gonna really worry about it. So here it is, since it's pulled up. So so here it is. Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs Service Pack 3. When I installed it, I had it had Service Pack 2, but I installed Service Pack 3 on this. And as it, the reason why it says version 2006 because it came out around mid 2006, but actually Windows XP original originally came out in 2001. And as you see, it has a, as the um, Pentium 3 right there and the 256 megabytes of RAM. Somehow it wants to read the um, processor as 644 megahertz. One earlier I was reading it as 796 megahertz at the last attempt I tried to record the video. But it's actually at 800 megahertz. I think it's probably because of the something with the computer Windows doing it itself. But I ain't gonna really bother. Why bother with it? So let's go ahead and proceed on. I'm gonna show you the hard drive size and how it while everything's loading up. Here it is. Here's, sorry for moving, taking the camera, like moving it like that, so, trying to hold the camera still so you guys can see what, it has 2 gigabytes of view space and 34 are free, and uh, disabled indexing like I said earlier. And let's go ahead and show you the programs I have currently installed on this thing, but this is going to be temporary. Because I am going to put a. It is going to be taken off probably by this week. So, here's all the programs I currently got on it. I got WinZip, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Avira Antivirus, C Cleaner, and VLC Media Player. Because I did a custom installation of Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Or actually, Windows FLP, like, which is what it's actually called in abbreviation terminology to connect to the internet I use the Netgear wizard 
because the Windows, the built-in wireless management thing on Windows doesn't want to cooperate at the time. Like full, mostly, all, like nine times out of ten, in most cases, sometimes they don't want to cooperate. It was cooperating last night. Let's see if I can get to the internet this time. Because earlier it wouldn't let me get on to the internet. And I'm running the most recent version of Firefox and I um got Flash Player and Java installed. Actually Java installed. It's able to handle YouTube without no problem. It, sometimes it skips because it's an older machine and it, it does lag a little bit. And I don't have screen capturing software on it, but I ain't gonna really bother with that because I'm due to my despite of my laziness. I did tweak Firefox so it'll run pretty run a little bit smoother, so we can get onto YouTube. It does have a built-in microphone. And I, the reason I installed a Vera antivirus is because it's a lightweight antivirus. Because a vast wouldn't install properly. On, same with all, Microsoft Office. So let's go ahead and do the usual YouTube test with my videos. As you see when you type it in the search box it does lag a little bit. And I'm currently, for Firefox what version I'm using is version 18.02. Let's bring the camera up a little bit. I'm going to put it back down. Cause I don't want to be holding it while I'm recording. I decided to try this out. Fox crash, but let me show you Opera. How, it ha how Opera handles things on the internet because Opera is a better choice to use anyway on older machines and with slow internet connections Cause since I'm using a crappy DSL connection and I'll make it my default browser the reason I was going to use Firefox because it had Add block installed. And I'm running the most recent version of Opera. Just like the like I have with Firefox. There is a, no Internet Explorer or Windows Media Player installed because I did a custom installation of Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs. Instead of going through one of my videos, let's look at Angry Grandpa. Show you how it handles everything. We found one of his funny videos. Let's go to the garbage dog. Oh well, I ain't gonna mess around. I ain't gonna play the full video. It's gonna be too long. But that's all. I just wanted to show you how it's able to handle everything on the internet. So let's go ahead and shut it down, shall we? And there's going to be another video, which I did for, that's going to be done for giggles, which is going to be Windows XP on a Toshiba Satellite 4015 CDT. Stay tuned for that one. Because I got, I, I'm going to show you how it's able to run on close to, which is a computer I close to XP's minimum requirements because I've installed it which uh, that computer has a um, 266 megahertz Pentium 2 with MMX and 160 megabytes of RAM because XP's actual minimum requirements is a 233 megahertz and 64 megabytes of RAM so uh, yeah it's shutting down so let me go ahead and stop the video and talk to you guys later bye